Democrats at the DNC are crazy as hell, shouting they're not going back. Hell no, I don't want to go back to open borders, high food prices, high gas prices, high inflation, high interest rate, can't even buy a home. Why? I don't want to go back, Kamala. That's why I'm not voting for you. I'm voting for Donald Trump. And who in the hell had the agility or the stamina to stay up all night and to listen to to Joe Biden? Joe Biden and all his damn lies. That's all he did was lie, 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 lie and scream. It's more louder than I'm screaming right now. Man, I got to give y'all, y'all props if y'all stayed up to watch Joe Biden. I thought that he might throw down and say something against the Democrats for um, orchestrating a coup against him, but no, he stayed on on script, stayed on script lying about, about Donald Trump and his lying ass. I'm tired of Joe Biden. I'm tired of Kamala. Watching the DNC last night, which I definitely fell asleep on, I kind of flipped to Netflix, you know, and, and yeah, still fell asleep. Anyhow, <laughs> watching that whole exchange last night just made me go, yo, these people don't want to take accountability for nothing. I mean, absolutely nothing. Somebody actually wrote right here. It's actually insane how they don't take responsibility for the state of the country. The same woman running for president in the White House currently. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. The same woman running for a president is in the White House currently, but she will fix the problem later. I don't know, y'all. Y'all make it make sense to me. It ain't registering to me either. That it just the one plus the one is is equal in thirty seven with with Kamala, bro. It don't make sense. We 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 don't know. And uh, you got Joe Biden, who is one hundred percent worse than her at lying. Yeah, I can't say one hundred percent. Starting to see Kamala rise. That. Uh, uh, try to balance that out as she campaigns. Any home, let's hear some more complaints from the people. You know, it's comical to me that people are believing this nonsense of on day one, we're going to fix illegal immigration. We're going to fix inflation when day one for Kamala Harris was three and a half years ago. And quite frankly, she's the reason why we're having these issues today. Because when she came into office, she was in charge of trying to find the root causes of illegal immigration and, and slowing down the border crisis. And guess what? She recommended and enacted all the policies that rose illegal immigration. She's the reason why we have this inflationary issue. When she was vice president for the first two years, it was a 50-50 Senate. She was the tie-breaking vote, right? She was the tie-breaking vote for all these crazy economic policies like the American Rescue Plan, the Inflation Reduction Act that did not do anything to help inflation. It caused more inflation because they spent more money than they needed to. She was the tie-breaking vote. So I'm from a time, I don't know what the hell the times are now. If someone's a problem, you get them the hell out. You don't give them a promotion. Now, I promise you, we're going to get to some footage from the DNC. But before we do, I just wanted to, you know, get everybody up to speed with how America's actually feeling about what they watch. Uh, and you know what? I'm just tired of them trying to prop Kamala Harris up. You don't get a raise at a job. Um, you know, you don't get a bigger office when you make your company worse off uh, in your current position. I don't I don't see her taking a manager role. You know, if she burning the fries, bro, I don't see her making it to the grill. Yeah, <laughs> if she burning the fries, let's read some comments under here, man. Somebody says spot on. Um, the left is taking a lot of average Americans for granted, thinking they are dumber than what they actually are. The Dems forget that the people who are most knowledgeable about the economy are the ones who have to endure it. And that's the part that really baffles me. People out there trying to tell you that you aren't going through what you're actually going through. It's like you may not like Trump, but I'm pretty sure you don't like your check the way it look even though, you know, what I mean, mm -hmm. then we got Obama. Yes, Obama, Michelle Obama, Barack Obama both spoke at the DNC. Uh, I think Barack spoke for over a half hour. Uh, uh, Michelle, she spoke uh, around the same. I think it was like 20 minutes to like a half hour, something like that. And I'm going to reduce them down to like three clips at that anyhow before we get into it i gotta hear my guy uh terrence k williams make sure y'all follow him on all platforms but i just love his energy and what he uh contributes to um what happened last night you know his thought process on the dnc let's oh obama specifically really yeah legit obama so y'all so the great divider is speaking tonight y'all barack obama Barack Obama is the last person 
that I want to hear from. He shouldn't open up his damn mouth. This man is the reason why America is so damn divided. Obama, I blame his black ass. I blame him. People, be prepared. Be prepared, okay? You know Obama is going to do his best to divide the country tonight, okay? Oh, he's worse than Joe Biden. He's worse than Kamala Harris. Obama is the great divider. He's going to get his black skinny ass on stage with his black smoker lips. Yeah, uh-huh. He's going to get on stage and he's going to race bait. He's going to tell the American people, I already know what his black is going to say. I already know. It's the same bull. It's the same BS, okay? Actually, I'm saying I'm going to say the word. So if you got sensitive ears, then you might as well go ahead and stop watching this video right now. Just go watch another video, okay? So because I'm not about to hold back. Obama is going to be talking the same bull. The same bullshit, okay? The same bullshit. And the American people don't need to hear it. They don't need to hear it at all. I blame Barack Obama. The country has never been so divided. So divided, okay? Um, America was doing better, okay? America, the American people were finally coming together as one. Like Martin Luther King wanted. And then here comes Obama screwing up shit dividing people it is absolutely insane i don't want to hear from this man at all at all black people do not be fooled obama is going to tell you that donald trump he's going to push that donald trump is dividing the country he's going to push that shit and it's not true do not believe the words that come out of his mouth do not believe it because what you have to do black people listen up y'all share this video black people listen up okay Listen up. What did Barack Obama do for you when he was president? Not a damn thing, okay? Did he all he did was lie. So guess what he's going to guess what he's going to do tonight? He is going to lie and he is going to tell you that you must vote for Kamala Harris to save the country when her when her want to be black is already in the White House, okay? So they're going to act like she's not even in the White House. And they're going to try to make you believe that you have to vote for her or else America's going to be over. That's bull. Do not believe it. Don't believe it. They're going to push that. They're going to say that Donald Trump is a racist. Come on. They said that in 2016. Obama's going to get up there and say we need change. His black is already saying that we need change. Barack Obama, that was your slogan. You said you were changing America. But you know, but you did, Obama. You did. Mm -hmm. You changed America for the worse. Black people, do not listen to Obama tonight. Do not listen to those lies. Remember how he didn't do a damn thing for you. Remember how he lied to everybody in this country. Oh, he had everybody fooled. Oh, he had everybody fooled. Okay, so somebody uh tell Ter Terrence that uh we need to go ahead and get together. I need him to predict a lottery ticket because that boy was on point. He predicted that to a T. I mean, so much to a T that I'm only I only have to show you one clip from Obama's whole speech uh, just to confirm everything that Terrence just said. Uh, Obama, man, when I think of Obama, I just think about race, and that's not what I'm supposed to think about. You know, I'm supposed to think of a person and think about race, but everything with the Obamas just became about race. Race this, race that, race this. Um, so yeah, man, it's, I can feel his frustration as to why uh, he felt that way before Obama went up on stage to start speaking, because I promise once he started speaking, I'm sitting there like, yeah, you was right. It's been two days at DNC, and I haven't heard one policy that will help this country. All I hear is divisiveness. That's it. The people who will decide this election are asking a very simple question. Who will fight for me? Who's thinking about my future, about my children's future, about our future together? One thing is for certain, Donald Trump is not losing sleep over that question.
Here's a 78-year-old billionaire who has not stopped whining about his problems since he rode down his golden escalator nine years ago. It has been a constant stream of, of gripes and grievances that, that's actually been getting worse now that he's afraid of losing to Kamala. There's the childish nicknames, the crazy conspiracy theories, this weird obsession with crowd sizes. It, 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 it just goes on and on. Mm -mm. And that 63-year-old millionaire sent the FBI to spy on Donald Trump illegally. I told y'all though, Terrence was right, bro. Just spewing divisiveness. He's the 70 year old that are whining and whining. Da -da -da -da, whoa, whoa, whoa. And that's definitely not the case. This man is literally fighting for the American people and they're trying to reduce him to some something of a child. All because they don't like the way the man speak, man. <laughs> Obama was the peace candidate, right? In 2008. Right. Um, let's read some of these comments. What happened to the investigation of their ch uh, chef? uh unaliving near their home ever heard any word about that obama won the nobel beast i don't even want to say that one i do not want to say that i don't want to say that this man is an all out and out narcissist um he said narcissistic personality disorder is a mental health condition which people have an unreasonably high sense of their own importance uh this man moved right next to the white house but yeah it's just nothing but more projection He's talking about, oh, you know, he got this weird obsession. They're going to word weird. You know, the Democrats have been using that word, trying to coin it and brand it with uh, side by side with Trump. But uh, yeah, he has this weird obsession. This then the third uh, wit, honestly, trying to protect the American people. <laughs> but he was talking about crowd sizes. Yeah, y'all just hating. That's all that sounded like was just straight hating. Oh, you know, he got this weird obsession with crowd size. You know what I mean? I don't know if I can draw out that many people, but you know what I mean? You know what I mean? And his wife, she ain't making no better. I, I, I want to know. I want to know. Who's going to tell him? Who's going to tell him that the job he's currently seeking might just be one of those black jobs? Now, I'm going to be honest, black people, my people, we look really, really soft and ignorant when we respond to stuff like, you know, he said Hispanic jobs. He said black jobs and Hispanic jobs. I don't see one Hispanic talking about or doing half of the stuff that we doing. Like, it's like, are we purposely misunderstanding this man to try to villain, add another villain arc to him because we can't fight him with policy? Really? That's basically what's happening here, man. And it's it's tiring, dog. It's like, you know what he meant by black jobs. He's saying that what Kamala is doing is creating an issue for your jobs. They can take away jobs from black people, Hispanic people, et cetera, et cetera. But no, they took it and said, oh, you know, black job. Oh, that's racist. He's talking about black. Everything is racist to you sensitive people, man. Um, but everything is racist except what uh, Obama does. I don't understand it. You know what I mean? Like, and and back in the day, if I would have heard the speech, I would have been, oh yeah, they just took down Trump. You know, when I was real heavy with the TDS, they just took down Trump. But uh, I'm just looking at it now, like race and politics. What a surprise! <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This is Michelle Michelleing for sure, or Obamaing. For sure, you know, because you got people in there just, you know, just rooting and rooting for the small talking points. But I'm going like, OK, you got comments like she owned him like a dog. What a beautiful moment. Uh, Michelle oh, is taking such a bite out of Trump's ass. He may end up actually weighing what Ronnie Jackson said he does. I don't even know what that means. Somebody said what a burn. Uh, somebody also said yet again, it's a black thing. You have two cards to play racism and abortion definitely i think america is sick of that how long do liberals think that they can beat the same dead horse i don't know but i know for me i'm tired of it 
I don't know about y'all, but Benny Johnson, he went to the South side of Chicago and he asked who they wanted for president president. And he's in legitimate shock. He says that these answers his job was on the floor. Obama talked a lot of trash about Trump. <laughs> Let's see if they feel the same way. I vote for Trump. <laughs> I, don't, I go for Donald Trump. Me too. I, I go for Trump. Who are you voting for in 2024? Trump too. And why is that, ma'am? He the best president ever. Has Barack Obama done anything for around here? And no, these he never did anything since he been in office. Yeah. And I'm glad he out. Trump the best. Barack Obama, man, I ain't got no message to him. I don't mess with Barack Obama. Yeah. No, nah, I'm a Trump supporter. Trump do more for black people and care more about black people. And Barack Obama ain't black. Just to let that be known. All right. <laughs> what about Kamala Harris? I don't f with her either. Yeah. All Trump, Trump all day. Yeah. What's your message to Donald Trump today? Keep going, keep going. Come get us, man. We waiting on Man, you. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm so thankful that Georgia brought JJ's fish out here. If y'all haven't tried JJ's fish, the seasoning on the chicken is amazing. I mean, make sure you diet correctly throughout the week before you hide it. And if you don't, it'll definitely detox you after the fact, but I promise. Oh, and they also got some really, really good lemonade. Back to the video. I'm a Trump supporter, man. We gonna keep this going. Trump, he a real businessman. I'm a real Republican, man. I want Trump back in office second term. What would be your message to Barack Obama? I don't know, pump some money in here. Pump, pump some money like Trump, you know? <laughs> your message to Donald Trump? Come on, man, get us to the Super Bowl, bro. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Make America great, man. That's all I can say. Make yeah. America great. Man. Everyone's so friendly around here. Yeah, yeah everyone's actually, so friendly around here. I need a chain you game you like this. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Up? What's up, <laughs> Who we need up in there? Who we finna let drop a bag in the hood? Who we want to get the bag hey, back going in the hood? Hey, y'all know we gonna need Trump in that joint. Y'all know we gonna, gonna need Trump in that joint. <laughs> y'all go, got to dig what's I'm going retired. on, man. I'm yeah, I'm taking over Benny show, man. It's Odie, man. I'm a YouTuber, man. Y'all get at me, man. But everything Trump over on this side of town. Yeah, yeah. I ain't gonna lie to you. You can go everywhere. You see how dry this motherfucker is? We need Trump, boy. Whatever it's gonna do to make this flow back, man, get it up. Uh, uh, let's get it going immediately, man. Benny, who you going for, Benny? My president is making America great again, Donald okay, Trump. I'm going with yeah. Trump too. We got right. yeah, That's what I'm talking about, right man. Right I need the job with you, man. I love Chicago. It's my long lost twin, man. <laughs> Separated at birth, man. Better tattoos, better style, <laughs> better hair. We both good looking, man. though, man. That's all that counts, man. Better Pause. teeth <laughs> and a better ride. <laughs> All right. You see the streets, they want Trump back, man. They want Trump back. And um, Obama, I don't, the Obamas, I don't think that they did their job effectively of trying to uh, convert us back to uh, propaganda, media induced zombies. Because uh, that's exactly what they're trying to do. We won't go back. Is I'm chatting that. I'm taking y'all chatting using it against y'all. I didn't want to spend no whole video of just showing y'all recycled DNC clips. I kind of want to show y'all just the responses from it in a few uh, points. But yeah, I didn't want to bore y'all with what we already seen. Donald Trump. 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 Who in the hell does he think he is? Who does he think he is? These people are sick. Thus far, the Democrat National uh chaotic chaos what is it catastrophe there we go <laughs> oh it's nothing but an anti-trump cult rally y'all nothing more